I'm a software engineer uh, in Tulka Operation. So my job is basically to enable other engineers to do the job. My job primarily is the success, success of other engineers. So um, I work with the drivers, BIOS, engineers to enable the future phones, future tablets, uh, future servers. So my relationship with them is uh, fairly close. We collaborate with them very often and it's in different regions, it's not only in the US. So sometimes require me to be awake at night or early in the morning. For me, it was uh, an easy choice. Since I was little, I was very passionate about it, excited about, um, especially computers, and so how to take it apart, pull it together, and I was that person that everybody in the neighborhood comes to, like when they have a, com a problem with the computer, it's like, hey, can you fix it for me? For me, it was more about what it was passionate about. So I would take some courses that was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then eventually I would take some other and it would be like, oh, that's even better. So that's eventually how I decided to be a computer engineer. I wanted to do, put my hands into work, do something with my hands as well. And that's what I could have with that. I could have the software, sign that I can do a program, but at the same time, I can put things together, I can do the hardware. The thing that surprised me the most it was like how broad the engineer can be. Uh, for me, it was only seeing like, especially in a company like Intel, I was expecting to be like, oh, only computer engineers or electrical engineers or computer science, that's it. So I have my friends that are mechanical engineers, civil engineers, chemical engineers, so it was like a huge uh, field that I wasn't aware of. Like I say, my, my opinion about this was only like very focused, very limit, limited. That eventually opened my mind. It was like, wow, this is awesome. And it's also as well that everybody comes from a different background. So every can ha everyone have a different point of view uh, based on of like the things that you study. And it's something as well that it changed you the way you think. The way I got my job, it was like, I wasn't like the brightest student in my class. I wasn't the highest UPA. I guess it was more about um, the way they see I was like, passionate about it, excited for the things I do. Um, for my research, it was a great opportunity uh, to collaborate with people. I learned so much from them. And it kind of changed my way of like thinking and be like more focused in school and my career and things I wanted. When you get the requirements, it's obviously you work with a bunch of, um, a lot of group of engineers. So uh, when you get a request, you need to understand first what the issue was need to be solved. So um, don't be afraid to ask uh, questions. Another thing is, for example, for me, it was like, I was very shy. I want to be like in a group of like 50, 60 people. And if I want a question, I didn't want to raise my hand. It's like, professor, I have a question. Uh, I will wait until the end of the class and go talk to him or go to the office hours. You have to like somehow be the one that's like the student that a professor sees that have interest in class. Because eventually it's like your education, like we're spending like a lot of money into education and sometimes it's like just because you were shy or just because like you didn't, didn't feel confident enough to go and talk to him. And sometimes we see professors that like, they're busy doing research, they're busy doing other things and we kind of feel like, oh, they're in, like untouchable, like unapproachable, like you're gonna come walk into the office and ask some questions. So the professor, they may be that way, but also they, I guess they appreciate you coming to the office and talking to them. Mm -hmm.